UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. I am your intrepid host, Ellie Marzulli. This is our weekly UFO update. So what I want to talk about is this particular headline, which came in over the weekend. Russia deploys intercontinental ballistic missile for combat duty. Some of you out there may be going, L.A., what does this have to do with UFOs? Maybe everything. And stay tuned because this report is going to blow your mind. Do you want to take control of your financial future but don't know where to start? Noble Gold Investments understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments makes it easy. Let's hear from the actual Noble Gold Investments customers. The staff answered all my questions and helped me every step of the way. No pressure sales tactics, just honest guidance. Securing my future is less stressful thanks to Noble Gold's expertise. Folks, don't settle for financial uncertainty. They'll suggest options and see if you can diversify into gold and silver. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free 5-ounce Silver America, the beautiful bullion coin, for qualified accounts. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless five-star reviews. Folks, why wait? Noble Gold Dot com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Check it out today. Peggy and I have done it, and we are so happy we have. Um, a portion of our savings is in Noble Gold, and we are tickled with the results. That's noblegoldinvestments.com, noblegoldinvestments.com. So here we are, and you're looking at this, this headline, Russia deploys intercontinental ballistic missile for combat duty. This is their saber-rattling. This is the use of nukes. It's unbelievable. This is unprecedented. We haven't seen this in decades. And here we are because of this war with Ukraine that continues. And this is what uh, Breitbart London Kremlin threatens to use nuclear weapons if Ukraine retakes Russian land in counteroffensive. So Kremlin threatens nuclear weapons if Ukraine retakes Russian land. Moscow will use nuclear weapons if Ukraine's counteroffensive efforts are successful, ex-president Dmitry Medvedev warned. So here we are. So we have to ask ourselves, okay, what are we looking at here? The late David Flynn and I talked about this on the phone before he passed away. And I think he passed away just way too early, but I digress. The globe is now linked together because of the global satellite network that even as I speak is is circling this planet. There's hundreds of them out there and countries uh, continue to do this. So when they light up the grid and they can do that, they control control the media. When they really light up the grid, everything changes. Remember when the earthquake out off the coast of Japan happened, the 9.2 happened, and that huge tidal wave came in. It was all, the, the grid was lit up. We all watched it in real time. Go back, let's say, to the end of World War II, where we dropped the atom bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now, the plane took pictures of that. I get that. But they weren't released till maybe days later. Um, and then finally, the American public saw them. And even then, you know, it was, it was taken from one camera source in a plane from a good distance away. Today, we've got cell phones. Everybody has one for the most part. And so the world is, is literally linked together in ways that are unprecedented. We've never seen this in all of history. We've never seen this type of connectivity that we have in today's world. So, you know, go back to Nagasaki and Hiroshima where the nukes were dropped. I get that. And people, this gets into the Cold War. But now, in modernity, 2023, present day, real time, they're saber rattling with nukes. So you say, well, what does this have to do with, with the UFOs? Maybe everything, folks. Stay tuned. Why is it that UFOs appear over nuclear sites? Why is it, and we broke that story um, with uh, Robert Salas, who was the commander at the Maelstrom 
Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Base up in Montana decades ago. A UFO appeared over the site and switched off all nine or ten intercontinental ballistic missiles. How was it able to do this? Here's, here's the deal. When Jesus cast out the demons from the man of the tombs, they say, what have you to do with us? You know, it's not our time yet. You don't cast it, I'm paraphrasing, but don't cast us into the abyss because it's not our time yet. You know, why have you come here to torment us before the time? I think that's the exact, the exact quote. Why have you come to torment us before the time? They know that this is not their time. They can see where they are because they're, they're possessing the guy, the man of the tombs, and they know that this is not the time of their incarceration. They know that. How do they know that? That's an interesting question. When the dragon falls to earth, when Michael and his angels fight with, with uh, Satan, the dragon, and his angels, and they overcome the dragon, and they fall to earth, the dragon knows his time is short. How does he know his time is short? How does he know that? Well, you could say, well, he's been reading scripture. That's possibly true. Or do they see through time differently than we do? And I think it's, I think it's the, uh, the former. I think they see through time. They're, they're not all knowing. I'm not saying that. They're not all knowing, but they can see things that the human beings, we're stuck. We're stuck in, the, in this time-space continuum. And unless we can pop out of it, we, we're one second at a time. But these entities seem to know certain things in the future, not everything. So with that in mind, is it possible that they, the UFOs, and those who pilot them, and of course you know that I believe these are uh, fallen angels and demons, that are back doing this whole thing. This is the coming great deception, like the days of Noah. That's what Jesus warns us of. It'll be like the days of Noah. Is it possible that they know that they will reveal themselves in or when there's some sort of a nuclear event that happens on the planet? This is why when Hiroshima and Nagasaki happened, you had this huge, this, this flap of UFOs because did they know that that's their trigger. That's their, okay, green light, go, do it now. Something restrains these guys. There's no doubt about it. Something restrains them. They just can't move with impunity and do whatever they want to do, at least for the time being. Is it possible that the church, we go up, they come down. We go up, they come down. Is it possible that they know that the trigger for them to appear on the earth is some sort of a nuclear event? Hear me out. Hear me out. Because we're all linked up together, because of the, uh, the satellites which are in, in geosynchronicity uh, around this planet, I think that's the wrong term, but forgive me, but they're, they're all orbiting the planet. The planet is now connected. Humanity has never been connected like this in all of human history. No doubt about it. So something happens and we all can watch it in real time, if they light up the grid, and they will light up the grid for this. If you have a nuke going off over there in Belarus, in Poland, in Ukraine, in Russia, Turkey, wherever it is, this will create the greatest climate of fear in all of human history. There's no doubt about this, because we're all watching it together. Who is Fear is the calling card of darkness. Fear is the calling card of the fallen one, of the enemy. You get a nuke event going off on this planet, and we're all watching it together, that, in my opinion, is when they show up. And when they show up, they will say, hey, we created all life on this planet. We genetically manipulated you. We started the world's civilizations and religions, and now, at this critical juncture in human history, we are back to stop the madness and to usher mankind into a golden age. Special UFO report. And you heard it here first. I did say this up at the Go There For conference and also at the conference in Missouri. And I'll be saying it again. Where? At the Imminent Return Prophecy Summit. That's the next one. It's coming up fast. We will. I will be there. I'll be speaking, I think, twice on Friday. Peggy and I leave on Saturday for Israel. And uh, you can sign up for next year's tour. This year's tour is all sold out. Don't forget our book, Further Evidence. For Close Encounters, you're going to want to get that. It's, it's uh, 
Not we don't have it yet, but when we when we get close, there will be a pre-sale. Academy Relations, the pre-sale is done. Uh, we are shipping. Please be patient. We've got hundreds of orders, and Peggy's at the warehouse right now shipping things. You can also uh, get the five DVD box set by going to lamarzuli.net. Lamarzuli.net. There will be no other box set until we get all nine films. Done. So counter mutilation is number six, seven is Roswell one, eight is Roswell two, nine, what is the truth? We'll try to have them all done before the end of the year. Thanks so much for watching our weekly UFO update. Remember, folks, UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. Hi, Jingos. It's amazingly fresh and clean out here in beautiful New Zealand. G'day, America. I'm Tarby, and I want to tell you about my new ultimate stain and odor remover, Jingos. My Jingo's Gunk Gobblers will tackle stubborn organic stains and eliminate nasty stinking odours at the same time. Jingo's effectively removes those little accidents like wine, coffee, ugh, dirt, blood, grass, even pet stains, and odours like fish, garlic, oh, even skunk. Jingo's is environmentally friendly, safe for use on fabrics, carpet, upholstery, and it works great as a laundry pre-soak on the worst pet or people accidents. Come on America, what are you waiting for? Just go online and order your Jingos for $12.95 and get a four ounce travel pack free. Crikey, pay $19.95 and I'll double your order. That's two large Jingos and two travel packs for just $19.95. Ugh, blasted seagulls, where's my Jingos?